Hello, my name is Andrea Diaz, and today I'm going to walk you through Microsoft Bookings, a great tool for scheduling appointments without all the back and forth emails. Let's get started. To get started, go to Microsoft Bookings by signing into your Microsoft 365 account and selecting Bookings from the app list. If you don't see it, you can visit bookings.microsoft.com directly. Next, create a meeting type. For example, if you'd like to set up a meeting type where each meeting defaults to 30 minutes, let's go ahead and call it something like that, 30 minute chat. You can enter a description here. The default virtual meeting location is Teams, but if you prefer to use a WebEx link, you can drop that here in the location box. If you aren't sure what your personal WebEx meeting room link is, you can open any new message chat. Click the button here that says my personal room invite and copy that link. Then you can paste it here under location. So again, you can use WebEx or Teams, but if you use WebEx, make sure you shut off Teams. So the meeting time is 30 minutes, which is what we want. Under schedule customization, you can further customize your meeting hours. It defaults to using your regular meeting hours, or you can specify further with custom hours. So let's say you really prefer to have meetings only on Mondays and Wednesdays, for example and you want to dedicate Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays to other kinds of work, you can definitely customize that here. If you click Advanced Options, you'll see further personalizations. You can buffer time before the meeting and after. You can make sure you have at least an hour's notice before a meeting is requested. You can also add email reminders to the person booking time with you before the appointment. So 15 minutes before, if you want that person to receive an email reminder, you can do that here. Lastly, you can also add a follow-up email, which is the opposite. So after your meeting time concludes, 15 minutes after that meeting ends, you can send an email as well. This is a good option if say you're looking to collect feedback or send them a survey. Once you're happy with all the settings, you can go ahead and click save. Since I already had a couple of meeting types already set up, I have three here. But the newest one we just added together is this one. So from here, I can click this link that says share meeting type. I can copy that link and I can put that link in my email signature if I want to. And that's it with Microsoft Booking, scheduling appointments is easier than ever. Try it out and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching.